like a full sleeve down both arms and like a little chest piece. But then she was sent straight home from school because apparently it's like in school policy that kids aren't allowed tattoos. Did, did any like, kids in your high school have tattoos? No, I, but like I didn't think it would be a problem. Was it primary school? Did you say? Yeah, yeah. She was she was six years old, but like. Mm, touch. Welcome to episode number 21 of the 21 Marty and Michael podcast. We're, it was fully actual. We're past halfway of season two. We are into the second half of this season. So if you're getting all fucking, there's only, the, including this one, there's only 20 episodes left of this season and then that's it for the year. Okay. So make sure you enjoy it. But that'll be like November, right? Yeah. It's like near November, the last episode, but just really bask in it, enjoy it and really just be grateful. Be grateful that we're in your ears right now because there'll be a chunk of time at the end of the year, like two, two and a half two months, and where, a half where months. we won't be. No, we, you can go back and watch all the other ones. We won't be. And you, you would have so, forgotten season one. So just really embrace us in your ears now because... <laughs> I'll tell you what, there's a break There's a break at the end of the year. Am I right, man? There's a break. We need to sit down and have a rest, right? We still got a few guests we got to get on here. Yeah, we keep meaning to get guests on and then we... That's not Hercules, that's a different dog. No, that is... Hercules is way higher and yappier. That is our neighbor. That is how she sounds. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Have you noticed this? Michael's got a red dot right in between his eyes. It's very symmetrical and he did it because um, he thought it looks good and now he hates it. No, it's a pimple. I God, do you still get pimples? Yeah, of course. Like bad ones? Not bad ones, but every time I eat or if I'm unhealthy, the skin goes to shit. That's the first thing that happens. Yeah, yeah, true. That's how I know. That's Fuck. how I know things are going down. <laughs> yeah, mm. no, nah, it's been great. So our week last week, what are we even? We've just been fucking smashing some website videos. Yeah, you guys would have seen that we put out a um fucking banging video. Oh, how's this? You know that skywriting video we put out. So I so easy. All I did was just I call the guy and I was like, hey man, can you put this on a banner and fly around Brisbane for an hour? And he was like, yeah, okay. And like, and then. Seven days later, there's a plane flying around Brisbane. So easy. Um, sorry about that. Anyway. Yeah, fucking out of our funds. In the um, video, there was yeah. like a, a brief moment where there's a, a number displayed of someone calling Michael's phone. And that person emailed us and was like, oh, look, that number you displayed is now being getting calls, so many calls over and over and over again. Some random, turns out it was a little 15-year-old girl's number. So we're like fully we're had to- apologetic. Yeah, we fully had to go and like <laughs> buy her a new phone and shit because we accidentally left it in the edit. And we're fucking, and she's getting bloody calls left, right and center now. Why would you fucking see that and call that number? Like, what do you he say to him? Oh, you called, you called the number on the plane. Like, yeah, it's not, it's, it's not, it's not, our it's not number. first on your list to do when you watch that vid. It's not our number. It's just some random person's number. So don't fucking call it. Yeah, they're probably going to call it more so now. Yeah, but lucky we're buying a new phone and this will be out next week. So I'll be all sort of. Oh, uh, yeah, true. We saved the day. We saved the day. We had, we fucking drank again though. Ooh, we had a few little cheeky ones, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, it was a big weekend, to be honest. Like, fucking I Sunday have, night turned into another night. Yeah, well, Friday night, I had a couple of beers with the old Toowoomba boys. Fucking let me tell you what, no, you could catch up with them. And then Saturday, I didn't really drink much, but um, yeah, it's not... Once you have a few, it's easy to spiral, isn't it, Matthew yeah, Brown? Yeah, and hangovers after having three weeks off, Grog. Oh, yeah. A fucking, like, normal hangover. Oh, it's now. like torture, isn't it? Ah. It sucks. You get down. Phew, mm, <laughs> torture. But um, we're back. We went to the gym today. And look at us. We're huge. <clears throat> I forgot that we went to the gym. Dude, it felt, I felt so good after it. But Matt's during, holding a gun. Fuck you, Matt. Matt's holding a gun. You always do that. You make me all nervous. All right, well, fucking Matt, you want to be like that? Let's fucking see how he's gone this this week, eh? Let's see if he's fucking continued on with his research skills and actually found some good fucking facts for us to talk about. Because it is time for on this day, and on this day, let me tell you, some shit happened. All right? Mm. Isn't that ah! Holy shit! Oh, one's you made the, the neighbor start yelling. Yeah, the fucking Hercules. <laughs> Sorry. Here we go. Okay. These are from Matthew Brown. Matthew Brown, the research. 
a lot of time and effort into these. He's uh, these are basically like his children. He has such sentimental attachment to these, don't you, Matthew? He's so nervous. He's shaking right now because he's you look just cold. Do you want me to put the heater on? You're he, my jumper. No, I got a jacket. He wants him to go well. He wants him to be like well received. So he's so nervous. He's sweating profusely. His white wholesome shirts just drenched in sweat now. Speaking of Matthew Gregory Brown, guess what I found today in one of our DMs? Someone has screenshot you in the background of Shami's vlogs. And we're like, I can't believe Matt Brown's and Charmy's vlogs. They were so wrapped and so happy. <laughs> it must have been an old vlog. No. Nah. It was been... like the Australia Day uh, one. Like oh, the okay. first one. Yeah, yeah. I did. I think I got the same message sent to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. That's, that's a keen eye. Whoever spotted that, by the way. Yeah, that yeah. was me. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> On this day in 1998, Katy Perry started collecting rats. Fuck. Interesting start. Okay. What started as an innocent hobby soon consumed her life as her LA apartment was overrun with rats. She was even seen dragging a sleeping bag full of rats with her while she was grocery shopping. Concerned family members confronted her about the rat obsession and convinced her to go back to making shit music for children. Which she has done, which she has started doing again. Was this what year? Because was it post uh, after Russell Brand? 98. Yeah. No, it was before. She was in the Gospels then. She yeah. was singing Christian oh, yeah. Catholic music, yeah, I think. Yeah, exactly. And collecting huge and amounts of rats. Yeah, I guess the churches always have rats in them. So, yeah. if ever if you, if you have a pet rat or two and like, don't let it grow into a huge obsession, Connor. Don't let your rat, little small rat collection, oh, I might buy another rat. Oh, don't okay. let that <laughs> turn into, oh, now I can't see any floor in my apartment because there's so many rats. Okay, it's just a warning for everyone out there. Connor. Connor is our filmer slash editor slash mate. And now he's and got like, what, four, five rats? <laughs> there's, there's and he more. talks about them every fucking Thursday. And he brings them. He brings them in every, in like, it's just he leaves holding them. In the him car. And like refuse, let him refuses to film unless he's got one on his arm. Like, it's like, it's too much. It's like, they really get a hold of you, the rats. He's like a pirate, but replace the parrot with a rat. On this day in 2003, Gordon Ramsay damaged the eardrums of an apprentice chef he was working with. Gordon blamed him for his parents getting a divorce when Gordon was a child and screamed into his ears for well over an hour. I always wondered why he was so angry and I think it must stem from some childhood trauma. What do you think? I really like Gordon Ramsay. I find him entertaining. Like, even though he swears a lot, I think he can justify it. I like his attitude. Would you kiss him? Like drunk or sober? Just if he walked in right now. Peck or tongue? Fuck it, I'd give him some tongue to make you boys have a little giggle. Yeah, I'd kiss him. Say I've tongued Gordon Ramsay. Kiss him on the lips just to say, hey, I've kissed Gordon Ramsay. Little lip sucker. Yeah, I'd probably do that. I wouldn't let him kiss. He wouldn't let us. I wouldn't let him kiss Matt. I I wouldn't let him kiss Matt. It's too dangerous. If he starts kissing Matt, it's just like, yeah, it's too dangerous. You get caught up in feelings and shit. Matt would go down that hole real quick. Yeah, wow. You become a cook. On this day in 1981, Pope Francis decided to pursue a career with the church after a messy breakup with his eight-year-old boyfriend. Issues arose in their relationship when Pope Francis's boyfriend would prefer to play with his school friends rather than spend time with Francis. He was quoted saying, I just threw myself into my work after that relationship ended. It's good to focus on yourself after an unhealthy relationship. There was just no trust there. Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, that's true, though. Like, if you come out of a unhealthy relationship, it's just good to focus on yourself and, like, you know, throw yourself into your work. So it's good on him. He bounced back like that. Francis, Pope Francis. What a fucking name, Francis mm. is, eh? Francis. Imagine having a kid and going, "You're Francis now." <clears throat> Francis. What are you oh. looking at? Mom. Matt Brown's fucking staring at something. It looks like you're looking at my dick through the table. <laughs> He's always undressing us with his huge blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <he's> cute. <laughs> <laughs> on this day in 2015, Owen Wilson was found unconscious inside his car on a hot summer's day. When asked why he was sleeping in his car, he responded, I stay in my car so that I don't lose it. I find that when I get out of my car, it gets tricky to find again sometimes. This way, I will always know where my car is. Fuck, I didn't even know he was a car person. Well, it's well. I guess he's like he would drive it around and then, you know, you go to a car park, you go inside, 
and that's when you have trouble finding your car is when you leave it so i get it that's why he's only in like fucking car movies now and then he he wrote the movie dude where's my car he wrote that yeah so that's inspired him because that was years before 2000 because he would have just been he would have just been like you know going to the groceries quickly duck in and buy some milk comes out can't find his car so it's just smarter to just stay with your car can't lose it that way he's probably going to be in the next fast and furious he saved a lot of time and those are the on these days for this week matt kind of shit six out of ten nah, five out of ten kind of shit Ooh. man not your best work you're not okay? looking at us not your best fucking work what are you typing away huh what are you looking at on the laptop he's watching our vids I'm watching what do you what did you just type in hmm? i'm researching yeah you- <laughs> oh that's so cute when he says research <clears throat> that i forgive you now <laughs> i'll think about it all right which brings us to our next segment has been renamed to, uh, 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 uh. And this is a segment where we just answer questions that you guys have sent in via Instagram. This one's from Michael Matthews or his Instagrams is Mikey JJB. Question, where is it Marty and Michael and not Michael and Marty or why is it? Okay. Oh, okay. Now, Um, I think when we- It's because if you listen to it, Marty and Michael- Michael and Marty. Michael is too hard to say or a little bit more mm. static. It's a bit Michael. cool. It's Marty. It's quicker. It rolls it's off the it rolls yeah, off his fingers. It flows a lot better. Yeah. So I think that's why. Yeah. We yeah just, and I think we have answered that in previous podcasts. We should we should have just put them both at the same time. Well was it Michael? That's why we created the website. So remember, this is sponsored by our website. But it should be that you say it at the same time. So you say your your name and I'll say mine. It should be Michael. Marty, that's what it should be called. Yeah, wow, one day they're going to be able to do that. Yeah, Hi- hieroglyphics, hieroglyphic <laughs> fields and shit in 3D, I think. That's how yeah, they're going to have to solve like that Yeah, it's like 3D printing, but with language. If I was to take a scientific stab, it's hieroglyphics with the um, 3D, 3D imaging printed up the back of it. With the volumes, because it's all Well, you got to control the volumes, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. But, yeah, subscribe to our university. Yeah, sub- oh, if we, we told them last week about how fucked- yeah, well, but we, we did two last week for the website. We did stone work. tennis. Painful as shit. Let's have a look at this bruise and see if it's still there. We did a video called stone tennis. Oh, yeah, look at that fucking cool. bruise. For those of you who can't see, it's a bruise probably the size of two fists. If you make two fists and put it on your leg, that's the size of the bruise. It looks like you were branded like they do to cows. Mm, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Matt. And um, basically, we, um, well, I don't want to give too much away, but we just smoked a shitload whilst playing. And there's a punishment for the loser. And yeah. every three points you lost, you had to have another bong. And there was another video we filmed, office incidents. So, just common workplace mishaps in an office environment. And we just sort of trying to, you know, show awareness to office incidents. But again, it's too graphic. We can't put it on social media. It's only on the website. I'm sorry. <laughs> you talk to Mark Zuckerberg about it. It's not our fault. Is it Matthew? Have yeah. I still got that black eye from you? Yeah, he does. Here. Yeah, I broke a one meter wooden ruler on Michael's oh, skull. It snapped across the, like, we thought it was going to hit the head, but when it snapped, it came around and hit me in the eye. I've only just noticed how bruised it is on the side. Nearly fucking blinded him. Looking at my mm-hmm. eyes, are you? Nearly yeah. fucking blinded him. Matthew Brown. Mm, becoming quite <laughs> flirtatious. I've got a brown bruise, brown. <clears throat> um, <laughs> all right, next question is from... Hayden Rendell or Hayden Junior 95 if you want his Insta tag. Cunts, would you prefer to drink a cup of your own cum or eat each other's shit as cereal with milk? I drink my own cum just because it's cum, my own. It's so easy. But it would take a while to harvest a lot of your own cum and like by the time your, your first loads, like by the time the cup's that full, it would prob- probably dry. Yeah, so you'd have to like heat it. squeeze milk a shit ton out. You'd real have quick. to heat it. You'd have to not have sex or a bat for no. Why am I nearly months. gagging? Yeah, you'd have to heat the the glass once it's full to come. And I'm looking at Matt because I've he knows I've seen him do this. So you store the cum in a glass, uh, usually a microwave safe, you know, Tupperware container, and put in the microwave for 15, 15 seconds, Matt. Fifteen seconds, and then it's quite liquidy, and you can down the hatch for those Dude, of you shit in cereal especially like 
if it's not even your own shit, like fuck, you, you would hate to eat my shit. Yeah, yeah. And I would hate to eat your shit. You had like ten shits today. Oh, very sickly sweet smell. Some of them. Like, oh, mm. stop! Remember, if you've got any diseases, send them to us. Farts. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah Remember, of keep that in mind. All right, next one's from Ben Dix underscore Zitter, <laughs> and he is asked, <clears throat> "What's Michael's favorite food?" I guess we can both answer it. I think doggy style. Favorite food. Oh, fuck. Italian. Pizza or pasta? Indian? Oh, no. Nah, I'm getting over meat. Oh, yeah. Um, so. It, oh, it cha- you, Michael just starts, gets, yeah, it changes. gets obsessed with one, one food, literally one meal from one place. And he'll have it for two weeks. And then he'll have it so much that he despises it. And he'll, it'll go to the end of his cycle. And he'll cycle onto the next meal that he'll consume. I think the best weeks. ones is when he gets a meal he's never had before. And he's unsure. So, he'll order two meals just in case. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never used to be able to do that. The hunt for money, new but... meals to become obsessed with. <laughs> yeah. Some, sometimes there's meals he doesn't like. I reckon standard though that I would always go back to is pasta and pizza. And then latest food that I love is olives. Mm. Mm. So he'll Chilean just have garlic, a olives. big I, plate of olives. I didn't for know dinner. the olives were so fucking good. They're just little salty, little delicious, little plump things. Bit of cheese they? and crackers. Mm. Yum yum. Little olives, aren't they, Matthew? I'm more mm. itchy on my nose. Mm. Oily. They're oily. <laughs> All right, this one's Michael Cox Instagram tag Mousy Cox. All right, what's the one thing both of you would never do, no matter what? And what's the one thing you have done in the name of funnel science that you would never do again? Mm. Fucking hair, but you've done that, dickhead. Yeah. But you'd never do that again, hopefully. Yeah, something that we haven't filmed that I would probably never do is I would never, um, I'd never like, I'd never king hit anyone on camera. I'd never do that. So that's where I draw the line is that a, a certain type of explosive violence. I'll just, I always say no to, even when the other boys are like, oh, let's do the king hit challenge, man. I'm yeah, always like, that was trending for a bit. It's always a bit like, you know, where do you, because you're going out and you're ruining people's days. What's it called? The king hit, coward yeah. punch or legend swing? I think it's a combination of all three and it's it should be called all three of those things said at the same time. Ah, oh, with the, what's it called? The hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics 3D, 3D. Image printing. Yeah. I think King Hit is obviously the act, but Coward Punch is the, the term, term they tried to get it corrected to. Yeah. Well, what, where do we get Legend Swing? Is that something we That's made up? That's just something that we made up, yeah. <laughs> Go with good scientists. Mm. So, yeah, I would never King Hit anyone and... Um, that's something we'd never do again. I'm probably... I'm, I'm fucked fucking... Tattooed. I'm over... No, nah, I'd do that again. But one thing I'd never do... And I reckon fuck doing shit with fire. Yeah, fire, fire and electrocuting. Me electrocuting out. is always a bit yeah. fuck offy and like, ch- chilly at the moment. Like uh, over yeah. filming things with chilly. Mm. Yeah, after that spray we got sent in. <laughs> but fire... Well, the first time we filmed with fire, we literally ran out. We forgot that when you use a fire extinguisher once it loses its pressure so i've tried to light myself up a second time after using the fire extinguisher once and the second time it hasn't worked and luckily we had like a little bit of water which we mostly missed when we yeah, put this it is the, one of the first videos we ever filmed we set michael on fire and the fire extinguisher didn't work and then we missed him with a fucking with the bucket, bucket of water so we had to pat him out and fucking hell it terrified me so i'd probably never do fire again disdain milkan all right boys would you rather cut yourself before jumping into a pool of AIDS blood or get a tattoo on your upper lip with a moustache that reads pussy eater? Oh the my. tattoo and then you get it removed. <laughs> well, I'd get the tattoo and just leave the hair there. Oh, what like the it? eyebrow. Like my fucking eyebrow. There's a couple of letters still left there, right? Yeah, Which we one should, was it we again? Should, we should shave it and see. I don't. We should yeah. shave my eyebrow and see how many letters are left. Matt, do you have a gun? Yeah. All right, next week, <clears throat> we'll shave my eyebrow and see how many letters are left. If I gave you a grand, Matt, mm. right here, right now, yeah. would you shave both your eyebrows off mm. on camera for these fine ringworms? No, nah, sorry. Two Ooh. grand. <laughs> Stop it. I'd love you at work nah, with I'd, no I just eyebrows. can't do it. I like my eyebrows a lot. Yeah, I get, I get you. I wish you could grow an afro. Black label photography. Question for Michael. Would you rather drown to death or burn alive? Question for Marty. Would you rather drink a cup of your mum's period blood or be the receiver of a bukkake party? Oh, I'd rather all the blokes just 
splash a bit of jizz on me rather than drinking. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even say Just that. close your eyes. Just close your eyes and go to your happy place and, oh, it's raining. You're somewhere where it's raining. Yeah. Maybe. Warm, white mm. rain. Big smile on my face running down the streets and it's just raining. And you just think like that for 10 minutes and just open your eyes and when it's all over, Matthew. Yeah. Yeah. Marty, do you, struggle with, do you struggle with blood? Because I notice every time we talk yeah. about blood in any type of way, you sort of get a bit... Or just at periods. He yeah. hates funny. Periods. Uh, it's a period. Uh, 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 He's not a fan of them. Did he, something happen to you? He, yeah. He, I was one. Oh, sorry. I, I was a period. Oh, we had a friend and this is a fun fuck story for everyone. Remember when we were in Europe and our mate that we met told us that he was obsessed with going down oh. on chicks when they were on their period. Oh, yeah. And he said that he'd love it when they would, there'd be little blood clots. Oh, 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 oh. And he'd chew them and eat them in oh. his mouth. And he said he, he was obsessed with it. Oh. That's so fucking Oh, my funny. God. I'll do some sick shit. But I couldn't do that. And you get a bloody bit of bread and just fucking what? Oh, it's like jam. Whatever. Sandwich. You know, strawberry jam, how there's cl- like glumpy, clumpy bits? Yeah. They, oh. Cook a snag yeah. and stick it up and then put it in with two bits of bread because your sauce. Oh. It's oh, your sauce on the sausage. Oh. Surely that can't be hygienic, like doing yeah. that. <laughs> Yeah, you think yeah. that that that, that would but next question. <laughs> well, yeah, I'd drown to death for sure cuz fuck fire. It's terrifying. Oh yeah, yeah, dr- apparently drowning's nice. No, I've heard the other. Well, I almost almost drowned. I think it was our first story on our no, first The drowning podcast. is like soothing letting eventually letting your lungs fiddle with water. Oh. It'd be so much nicer than burning. So much yeah, nicer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, true. I guess maybe we'd try it. Yeah, well, we science almost experiment. Oh uh-huh. my god, a dog just walked past. I'm not even joking. Oh, it's, our neighbors are going to come through soon. This has happened before, I swear. This is good. Let Br- him in. Yeah, bring the dog in, Matt. Bring the dog in, Matt. Just open the door and see what happens. Let's do this. It's a, it's a small, friendly one. Open yeah, yeah it's, just a, it's just a puppy. Looks I cute. It looks, it, looks, it, it, it looks like, like Coco. <laughs> <laughs> bring it in. <laughs> Pussy's outside. Wait, I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. It might not be friendly. What the fuck? This house is so hidden and tucked away. How the fuck does it get here? Yeah, what the fuck? It's such a fired up little fucking fucker. Well, it was very exciting. A dog ran past the house. And it's, yeah, it's hard to find this house. Oh, it's hard yeah. to concentrate now. That was so exciting. <laughs> All right, back to it. What the fuck was I saying again? Oh, yeah, next question. Last- Wait. Oh, yes. What? Oh, I might be shit. Dude, just do it. I don't care. Not on the green screen. Dude, just, no, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's safe. It's safe. It's, it's going to be shit. I don't want to shit oh. myself. I don't want to shit myself. Yeah, I guess it's only cool if I do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it would have spread. It would have gone. I wouldn't. Yeah. I don't care, dude. I don't care. You're always allowed to shit wherever you want in my house. You know All that. Right. Yeah, I appreciate that. All right. Last questions from Luke and his Instagram tag is Luke and stuff. Did you know Hitler also fucked cows? Apparently, he used mustard gas as an aphrodisiac. Mm, I don't think mustard gas would work as an aphrodisiac, but I don't deny that. I don't doubt that he, you know, might have used it for that. Well, there you go. That that, that explains a bit, then, well, doesn't it? Yeah, you're German. He was German. Or- might be like a genetic German thing. Yeah, like a small part of a German gene that just finds the okay. rump of a large cow intoxicatingly lustful. Oh, I'm gonna have a bite and a fuck. I'm have a bite and a fuck it. Move. <laughs> and that brings us to our next segment. Bozzy's wagging his cow when we clap. Good boy, Bozzy. Yeah. Yeah. Next yeah. segment, Bozzy, eh? Hey? All right, stop staring out there. Have a seat and listen to the he's, show, man. No, his security's all riled up now because he's he thought he'd secured the perimeter, but now there's some other fucking little fucking dog running around stealing shit. Wow, <laughs> is it still yeah, out there, mate? Yeah, I just saw it run past. <laughs> Maybe we should put it down. I thought it was on the ground already. No, like twist its head off or something. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right, the next segment has been Russian air for Hickle and Lililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililil
We're going to squeeze some lime juice in our eyes and see what all the fuss is about because I've heard it's quite fucking painful, Matt. Supreme uh-huh. Patty does it all the time. Yeah. Do you want lime or lemon? Uh, look, I haven't decided yet, but I think I'll have the knife. I reckon if I could choose, I'd go lime. Why don't right. you do one of the both each and tell me which one hurts more? Well, yeah, one in each eye. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Oh, fuck. I feel like it's on my face and so on my hand. It didn't go in your eye, did it? Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, look at the ground. Oh, no! Oh, God. Oh, that's a sign of a good podcast. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, moving forward. How's the podcast this week? <laughs> I spread his face with shit. <laughs> All right, let's put some lime and lemon juice into our fucking eyes. Come on, cunt. It's stunt time with Muddy Michael. Sorry, I shit on your face. Let's, no, let's pour good. some juice into our eyes. Uh, okay. oh. Holy f- Oh, dude, I fucking regret that. Oh, oh. I've never done that before. It's fuck. Which one? Give me something, dude. <laughs> Give me something now. Oh, yeah. Fucking fuck. hell. Ah. Just come this way. Follow my eye. Oh, I can't see, dude. No, I have to sit down. It's getting worse. Is there the tea towel above the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I accidentally threw, the threw the tea towel in the bin. Sorry, dude. But yeah, I'm sure it'll stop hurting soon. Oh, yeah. That was actually, um, yeah, pretty painful. Like I didn't, I didn't pour much in at all, and um, yeah, very, very shockingly painful, wasn't it? Oh, dude, dude, yeah. Whatever was on the right, that one was the worst. <laughs> Fucking stabbing at you. No. Stabbing at you with the knife. I don't want to move. That's the. <laughs> I think maybe leave it like that. It looks good. All right, we'll leave it like that. Oh god. Don't you spray <laughs> shit at me again! Next segment has been renamed to. Oh fucking! Oh man, I nearly fucked my voice then. And this is a segment where we just basically open shit that you fucking fuckers have sent to us in our PO box, all right? And right here we have a big old package from Nathan. Now, last week we did ask people to send us their dicks, so I wonder. Whoa! Wonder if someone sliced it off. Okay, so. There's oh, um, no. there's something in here that's wrapped. Read the note, it's and a, it's toilet paper there's too. There's some something in here that has been wrapped in toilet paper. Let's read the note first to make sure it's not anthrax. Dear Marty and Michael, <laughs> my name is Nathan Palmer, and I have a YouTube channel called Nat Dog Seventeen. Please give me a shout out. Everyone, go and have a cheeky look at Nat Dog Seventeen. N A T D O G Seventeen. You two are crazy dudes and the shit you do is fun to watch and I enjoy it. I notice shit m- you do. <laughs> <clears throat> I notice Michael has to deal with most of this shit and is hurt most. To help ease his pain, here are two essential oils to help with stress and get restful sleep. First oil is frankincense. Helps dispel negative feelings like stress. If you feel pressures of 
Life is weighing your mood. Apply this to the bottom of your feet. The soothing sensation and aroma will promote feelings of relaxation and a balanced mood. Second oil. Lavender helps for better sleep and is found to eliminate harmful bacteria. (coughs) Relieve muscle spasms and soothe inflamed skin. You have a lot of inflamed skin. That's so nice. Hope these are helpful and helps Michael. All right, there's more. There's fucking more. For Marty, a jar of my my own personal blend salsa. I wouldn't recommend consuming it, though, because it's over seven years old. I would like you to both smell it, though, or use your science skills to find out if it's edible or not. I hope this package gets to you. Enjoy the gifts, and I hope to... Hope to send shit to you guys. Peace out, dudes. Nathan, Nat Dog, seventeen. All right, Nathan. Keep this. I save all of that. Let us. Uh, let's see what we got here. Eh? We got some old salsa. We got some old salsa and some oils. Why would you keep it? Like, do you just keep sauce for to seven send, years? To send to us. He kept it to send to us. Wow, he's known us for ages. Seven years ago, he thought, mm, this might come in handy one day. We got to have a whiff of this, though. You know? Let us determine whether it's edible or not. It's mm. dated the 9th of the 14th. 2000. Whoa! Don't you fucking pour it on me. I would never do that. Oh, it smells lovely. Oh, dude. Just go for the green screen. <coughs> hey. Fuck, dude. I saw at the end... Bubble. A little bubble, but it stayed in the asshole. Yeah, I do that on purpose. Yeah, I, that I do that good. on purpose like that, man. Good control on that one, dude. Mmm, very control. Imagine if our neighbor came <laughs> and saw you were trying to find their dog and we had it in here. <laughs> and the dog comes up and sits. Spraying it shit all over you. Okay. Have a, it's, <sighs> I reckon that's edible. Oh, it yeah, it like smells bolognese. good. It just smells like. Like normal sauce. Yeah, I'm going to put that onto some sandwiches later on tonight. Okay. Don't know about this lid. <laughs> yeah. It's oh, thank of... you very much for that, Nathan. All right? Yeah, thank you. Very so go check him out, everyone. Yeah, go and have a cheeky. That's definitely worth cheeky squids. <laughs> He's fucking challenge. He's fuck you. <laughs> fuck I did you Google can't. how long um, salsa is good for in jars. <laughs> good for. Um, Seven years, I bet. <laughs> It just says refrigerated one to two months, pantry one to two months. Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> Next segment has been renamed to Tina. And this is a Whoa. segment where we just do a prank call that you guys have fucking click, 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 sent in. Families and friends. Yes, let's embarrass them. Brisbane car vlogger. <laughs> Oi, fellas, I have a prank call for your next podcast. So the guy you have to call is my best mate, Zach. And the situation is that you are someone from Petrie Police Station calling up because neighbor noticed you driving unlicensed and that you guys have been keeping a close eye on his Instagram. All right, so I'm going to call this fucking dude and um, pretend that I'm from the police station and say that we've noticed him driving an unlicensed car and that he shouldn't be driving a car like this because he's on his P plates, which in Australia means if you're a P plater that you've only had your license for a very short period of time and you're only allowed to drive certain cars. Yeah, here we go. Hello. G'day, mate. It's just uh, Constable Ben Sticks here from the Petrie Police Station. Um, do you have a minute to talk? Yeah, mate. I'm just at work at the moment. Yeah, mate. Um, look, we've had some um, complaints, uh, and actually an anonymous tip that you're driving an unlicensed um, car, and we've um, looked at the, uh, the number plate up on the car, and it is, in fact, um, not licensed, and... Um, it's also uh, come up that I've been driving it, so a family member can't drive my car at all. Yeah, I well, I haven't driven my car. I haven't driven my car, mate. It's registered, and family members have driven it. No worries. Um, so the the anonymous tip has actually sent in um an Instagram uh post saying that um that you are driving it and then there's proof of you driving it. So just legally, we have to follow up these types of claims. Um, so you're saying you haven't been driving it. An Instagram post. Yeah, so we've... So, we've a fam- like, so a family member can't drive my car so I can take a video or anything of it. Like they, they can't drive it to the car wash. They can't do any of that. Yeah, oh, mate. So the claim is that you've Names. been driving the Names. car. By who? Uh, I, can't, I'm, I can't say. It's an anonymous Names. tip, but it's someone that lives um, in your area, basically. 
um, um, uh, th- so, that's so reported you uh, driving. Um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's um, yeah, someone in your neighbourhood. So the yeah. only place, the only place it's ever been driven, and it wasn't by me, is in the street, and um, it's always been a family member, mate. So sorry, I can't help you there. Oh, mate, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not after help. I'm just trying to uh, sort this claim out. So, um, just I'm just letting you know legally that we have to call uh, this type of claim, and we do have to ask you to come in uh, to make a statement. Um, and the um, the person who has anonymously given the tip, tip out has um, has some claims that you have been driving this car Free. unlicensed Free. with um, with your green P plates, and has actually sent in. Um, some footage of you driving the car. So my brother's my brother's also a green P plate, mate, um, and he has driven it for me. Um, so yeah, and we yeah. both um, look similar, so we can definitely be mistaken for who we are. Right. So you've just admitted that your brother, on his green peas, is driving a high-powered turbo car with an external wastegate. Is that what you're saying? Look, your brother's going to have to come in for questioning because either of you that's should that's not that's be driving like that car. Neither of you should be driving that car, mate. So um, if 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 I could have you, it sounds it sounds like a prank call to me. Um... Well, mate, I'm Ben Sticks. I'm Constable Ben Sticks from the Petrie Police Station. You can look at my badge. You can look at my badge number. It's seven three seven two nine nine sixty nine to the power of seventeen, and then there's fifteen ones after that. So you can Google that and you'll see that I'm a constable at the Petrie Police Station and I demand that you come over and fucking drop your car off because you're fucking driving high-powered turbo cars and you're fucking, you're, you've been caught, you're, mate. You're fast and furious. You've been bloody done. Furious. You're fucking fast and furious driving around like a lunatic and have a bloody gut full of your shit. You're your neighbours are fucking sending you're your shit poor in. Poor Walker. Poor Walker's bloody gone and you're fucking driving around like you bloody own the joint. Who are you, you fuckwit? You fucking driving around in a car like that? Oh, fucking NOS! <laughs> NOS, is it? Mate. You're going away for a long time, let me tell you that right now, young fella. If I'm not Constable Ben Six and throwing you in jail, you fucking driving around in that fucking high powered car, you dog! You're a fuckwit. You fucking call me a fuckwit. <laughs> I'm coming into your joint and I'll disable that car with my pair of pliers. You dog! Anyway, I'm just joking, mate. It's uh, Marty and Michael from the um, Fully Actual podcast, and um, your mate stitched you up, and we fucking got you. You were so scared, Zach. Who the fuck was it? It's Marty and Michael from um, the Marty and Michael Fully Actual podcast. You've probably heard of us. <laughs> we're kind of a big deal, so yeah. Your friend sent in your number. Is this on the radio too? Yeah, this is on the B105, but it's going up. It'll be on B105 tomorrow at 4 p.m. Oh, jeez, I'll have to listen to that then. <laughs> but yeah, we're, it's not real. We got ya. I'm not actually a constable. And um, yeah, just another classic Marty and Michael prank call. We got you. You been done. Oh, jeez, thanks, mate. No worries, mate. That'll let that bloody be a lesson to you boys out there driving power cars, all right? <laughs> Have a good one, mate. Oh, definitely not. Thanks, mate. No worries, mate. See you tomorrow night. That was beautiful. I love the cranky cop that you play. Oh, yeah, that was in- infuriating. He's driving around in a fucking high power car. He's got nothing but bloody fucking P plates on him and he's very dangerous. Yeah, keep that for Fast and Furious. It's not on. That is uh, the end of our uh, show, okay? And um, yes, we are the best. Uh, It has been uh, determined that we are the best. It is written in scientific reports. We're the best. Uh, Thousand-year-old tablets. We're the best. We're the best. It's written in the stars. We're the best. (laughs) We're the best. We're the best.